morning. Thank you for coming over to the Supermodel Annie channel. I love cooking at home and I am a gluten-free and dairy-free gal. I try to do that on the outside. When I travel, it's not so easy, but when I'm home, I love cooking yummy, delicious food that's closest to the earth pretty much and uh, dairy-free and gluten-free. So today we're gonna to be talking about butternut squash, roasting butternut squash. So it's the fall, it's beautiful, and I've cut up my butternut squash in chunks, and I'm gonna just throw that into a big bowl. And I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit to coat it. And I'm gonna add some Himalayan sea salt, a couple pinches. And then there's just one more little treat that I like to use, and it's a truffle salt. I love truffles. So it's just an, a little bit of a taste it's not too much salt because you do need some help with getting that flavor of butternut squash to come to the surface. Okay, I also have um, three to four of these nice big uh, baking sheets that you can get at a professional restaurant depot and you can order them online of course, but I love these. They are durable, they handle high heat and they roast all my vegetables. So mix it around in your bowl and all you have to do is just throw it onto your baking sheet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pop it right into the oven, about 400 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. You want this to get nice and um, caramelized. Um, if you wanted to go more sweet, you could add a little bit of coconut sugar. If you wanna go more savory, you could actually add some thyme. You can do some seasoning. What I like to do, especially during the fall with pumpkin and squash and all that, is add a little bit of ground cinnamon. And you don't need a lot. You just need a little bit of a smattering on this. It brings out the flavor so beautifully and it's in keeping with fall. Here we go. It smells so good. 